just said we're, all, we're rolling. Yeah, Cam- we're rolling. Cameras are moving. Good yeah. It's fine. Everyone's on the same page. So, Peter Breinhold. Peter Breinhold. What has he meant to your life? Well, it brought us Peter Breinhold into my life. It's meant everything. I mean, what does a garbage dumpster mean to your life? Uh, I'm sorry, what? My point is that when I look at the panoply of my life and I look across the spectrum of artists that I've worked with, people like Jethro Tull, people like Magna Carta, a band you may not be familiar with, people like Stevie Wonder, people like Whitney Houston. I think of Peter Breinholt. And I think there's a person who looked at me as, yes, a man, as, yes, a friend, as, yes, a mentor. Peter Breinholt looked at me as someone who was not just an enabler for his career, but someone who was the proprietor of his career, sort of an owner of, of his whole experience. So he's meant a meal ticket to me, basically. He's meant a way for me to pay the bills. More or less. Your relationship with Peter Brinell is you were his, you were his first manager. Right. Yes. For a, very, for a very short period of time until success actually came his way, and there was a brief to do about the money um, that I was due, um, that I felt, uh, which he made good on. So that was that was that was all. It was fine. It was, you know, it was a lot of money at the time. You know, it was like fifty five dollars. So you know, but he he paid it. So that was good. Davis, get away from the window. Get away from the window, Davis. You named your dog after Clive Davis? Oh, uh, Miles Davis. Miles Davis. Miles Davis, right, that's right. The great piano player. Um, how does Peter Breinholt rank with uh, the great folk singers of his time? Well, I don't think there, there would be folk music without Peter Breinholt. I mean, as far, he was the first folk singer I ever even heard. I mean, I know there was, I mean, I know there was jazz. And then there was rock and roll, and then there was Peter Bronholt, and this whole folk explosion it sort of enveloped the whole world. I mean, after Peter Bronholt, you had you know folk singers like James Taylor, you had folk singers like you know Jethro Tull, you know Peter Bronholt led, led to all of these sorts of um, people's career. I mean, really, it was him who, who made it all possible. If you were to describe his music. In, well, who, in terms of colors, like chartreuse, black, mixed with a little bit of yellow, some green, maybe a rainbow, maybe not a rainbow, maybe a, a polka dotted uh, spring morning with ice, with ice on the trees, but the sun coming over a ridge, and then there's Peter Bronholt skipping across the meadow, right, with his little guitar and a flute, he's got a flute. In my mind, I see him with a little flute and the little musical notes are going up and they're singing to each other, right? And everyone else is sitting Indian style, cross-legged in the field. Can you think of a story? Um, well, that... I could think of stories that would make your hair stand on end, right? But I won't tell those today. Well, I can tell you stories about Peter when he was young. When he was first starting out, you know, he never thought he would win any awards. He didn't get into music to win awards or to sell records or to have people listen to his songs or to have audiences come and be interested in him. He got into music because there was nothing else for him to do. He, was, he had nowhere else to go. I, I met him wandering around a zoo, actually. He was just wandering around the bear cage. And I said, look, little boy, he was about, you know, 22 at the time. And I said, little boy, what are you doing here at the bear cage? Find something to do with your life. And I handed him a little banjo. And he instantly picked it up and started playing it. And then from there, I think the rest was history. So I didn't even know what sounds he was making. I knew it was music. I was there on a work release sort of a thing at the time. Managing various acts. I mean, you must have, being on tour with Peter Bryan. I Hull, must have. Tell me what that's like. Like, you're going out, you must have great stories. It's like a circus. Um... It's like, it's like, have you ever um, played a game of Yahtzee at an old folks home, but there was a circus going on outside the old folks home during a nuclear war? That, and you imagine yourself riding one of the missiles heading towards that old folks home, right? That's what it's like to tour with Peter Breinhold. 
That's what it's like. It's like riding atop a nuclear missile, heading towards an old folks' home. I mean, it is insane. Look at the man. Look at his face. It's like looking into the face of anarchy itself, but in a very soft way, in a way that you might go, oh, this is, you know, wonderful music. I think I want to sit down and just watch it and listen. Right? I'm describing a Peter Breinhardt that very few people are aware of. Um, most people look at Peter Breinhardt and they see a man that is very soft, he's sensitive. Uh, he can play a tune that'll just make your toes tap and your, and your lips turn into a whistle, right? But there is a side to Peter Breinhardt that very few people know of. And I've, I've seen it. And uh, it's exciting. It's an exciting, dangerous, severe side. That um, uh, I think uh, I think the more as soon as he gets a little a little more awards a little you know he gets in the twilight of his career we'll see it we'll see it come back we'll see him we'll see him sort of you know get a little a little weird a little wild. What mm -hmm. do you what do you think of this award and him receiving this award? Well, I think the Silver Lung is an award that he's wanted for many many years. Uh, he's talked about it uh, with me. And he's written various emails and text messages to people. I know that I know that winning any sort of award for him uh, is uh, is an award. So in that sense, you know, I mean, I put it on the wall, right? Frame it, sell it if you, you know, get in a pinch. I, I won a Grammy once for my work with Jethro Tull. I had to sell that, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to Peter, right? Uh, no. Um the silver, the silver lung. Silver lung. Is that, is that the award we're talking about? Silver lung. It's the silver, silver brain, the brass nose. Some kind of silver something, right? It's, a, it's the. Uh, it's an organ. It's an organ, right? He's winning an actual organ. 